name is Luis Martinez, and my partner is Araceli uh, Conteras. Uh, today we'll be presenting our CE 380 Numerical Methods 2 class from Cal State LA. Um, we'll be guiding you through our GUI to solve our trust. Okay, so in order to start, first we must set or create a specific input file. Here we have it set as a, as a text file. So our first column is our nodes. Our second and third column is our x and y coordinates. Our forces in the x and y directions are the ones that follow. And then our loads in the x and y direction followed by all of our connections. So the way our GUI is set, it's been generalized. So as long as you follow this format, it will run and solve your trust. Okay, in order to run the program, we must click on our program, which is called trustsolver.m. Uh, our script pops up. And in order to actually run our script, we have to press uh, the Run button in the Editor tab. Uh, as you can see, our GUI window appears. Um, in order to um, allow our GUI to work, we have to be able to import our text file. Uh, we press that button to get our text file in here. Um, so we'll be using trust.txt, which has all the information that we'll be using today. Okay, once we click on it, our trust appears. Um, each number symbolizes uh, what number our member is in. Um, the square symbolizes our pin connections, and our roller is represented by a circle. Our load is represented by a red triangle. Okay, and in this next part of our graph, we're actually going to be solving our trust. So if you click Solve Trust, it outputs our solved trust. So here, our tension, our members in tension are represented by blue, and our members in compression are represented by red. And here are the actual forces of each and every member. So, and our force, our resulting force in our x and y directions are as follows. So, okay. So moving on, in order to solve our elongation data and our strain energy data, we're going to set a, a modulus of elasticity. So, for this example, we're going to set it at 2,900. And we're going to set our cross-sectional area at 20. So once you write them, in, write them in, you set them by clicking on them. Okay. And you'll be able to click. Okay. So in order to plot our elongation data, we must click on the plot elongation button. Here our plot appears, and we could see our mean, median, and standard deviation. Uh, in order to plot our strain energy, we click on this uh, plot strain energy button. And as you can see, another plot appears with uh, data. And on the table right next to it, we could also see the mean, median, and standard deviation. And something interesting about these tables is that each member, member one, correlates with number one here of our member. Okay. And if we move to the right here, back to our MATLAB, it also generates a text file with our reactions. So these first three are our reactions, and these following ones are the forces in our members. Okay, and that's our program. Thank you for listening.